So, so watch it, watch it, watch it, watch this thing. But this is what blew me away. Watch it. What blew me away is now, because I got to paint the picture clearly now. The only person that's in the room is Peter and the dead body. All right. Y'all work with me, work with me. All right. The only ones in the room is Peter and the dead body. Uh huh. And the Bible says, listen, that after he put him out, it says that he knelt down yes. and prayed. And prayed. But then it says, after he knelt down and prayed and turned into the body. Turn him to the body. Y'all miss it, y'all miss it. Turn him to the body, him. yes. It's Peter. Uh huh. And it's Dorcas. <clears throat> it's Peter and the dead body. Uh -huh. The text says that he knelt down and prayed, but it also says and turned to the body. All right, y'all miss it one more time, one time, one time. I need y'all to see this. Come on, family, go, go with me. Y'all work, make me work hard. Come, uh, 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 it's Peter. <laughs> hey, Lord, and it's the dead body. Everybody else been put out the room. The Bible says that Peter kneels down and he prays. He prays. Then he says. And turn it to the body. Okay, y'all listen. Let me make it clear. Y'all catch this. Note, if you will, that Peter did not pray in the same direction of the dead body. All right. And the reason why he didn't pray in the same direction of the dead body because there's no need of talking to that which is dead until you have a conversation to that which is living. And the reason why some of y'all are stressed because y'all try to talk to their situation. Right. You try to talk to their relationships. Uh, you try to talk to their marriages. Uh, but don't talk to nothing dead until you talk to who is living. All right. All right. All right. I see it. I see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Lord. He prays in one direction. Uh -huh. <laughs> then after he gets the release from the direction he prayed in, then he turns turn. to the dead body. Yeah. Touch your neighbor say, don't turn until you get a release. <laughs> Some of y'all still looking at me. I said, tell your neighbor, don't you turn until you get a release. Huh? If God ain't release you to talk to it, huh? don't have a conversation with it. Huh? If God ain't release you to speak to it, huh? don't you speak to it yet. Huh? If God ain't told you to say nothing to it, don't you say nothing to it. Stay right there until he releases you to speak to it. Come on. All right. All right. Until he releases you. Amen. Amen. Am I helping anybody today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I helping? Yes, sir. He, he prays in this direction. Then he turns to, this to the body. Yes. And has a conversation with that which is dead now. <laughs> uh -huh. Notice, if you will, that the conversation wasn't lengthy. All right. He didn't have. A long conversation with the Bible. All right. No, sir. <laughs> he wasn't trying to discuss or persuade the body. He just had two words to say. He says, Tabitha, arise. Arise. Uh huh. <laughs> Amen. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Amen. He says, Tabitha, arise. Uh huh. Y'all still miss it. Watch this. He says, Tabitha, arise. In other words, he didn't ask her, did she want to get up? No. He didn't question if she felt like getting up. No. But when he told her to arise, it was a command. And God told me to tell you that you've got that same ability. You ain't got to stay down. But when God tells you to move, you just need to move. Yeah. I got to ask you if you want to get it's not your choice. It is my will. Yeah, yeah. Glory, glory, glory. Yeah, yeah. Bishop. Uh-huh. I um uh, I got offended in the text. Because when you studied, you would know to notice that she didn't follow the instructions. 
Y'all don't read your Bible. Come on. <laughs> Come it's on. right here. Come on. He says to her, in verse number 40, 41, 40, uh, he says to her, uh, Tabitha, arise. Uh huh. But the Bible says, then she opened her eyes. Uh huh. She didn't. Uh -huh. She didn't follow the instructions. He said, Tabitha, arise. arise. Uh -huh. But all she did was open her eyes. Now, now, maybe, 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 maybe this is important to you, but it's very important to me because this woman literally did not follow the instructions that she was given. Because arise literally means to change positions. The rise means to be erect. Rise means to get up. But she didn't get up, she just opened her eyes. Uh -huh. So I went to God again, man, him tight like that. So we begin to have a conversation. I said, God, he said, yes, Lord. I said, I'm confused about something that I read in your text. He said, what you confused about? I said, I'm confused about the whole concept or aspect that, that when Peter told the woman to arise, all she did was open her eyes. She didn't follow the instruction. Can I tell you what God told me? He said, she did follow the instruction. I said, no, she didn't. He said, yes, she did. I said, no, she did not. He said, yes, she did too. I said, let me read it to you. I, come on. Uh, I said, I said, tap her eyes, and all she did was open her eyes. Open her eyes and not getting up. She, he said, she did. Oh, uh, Father, I said, no, she did not. He said, yes, she did too. I said, you, you look, look at it, God. I said, you told me that Peter said he tells her, tap her arise, and all she did was open up her eyes. I said, open up your eyes. It's not what he told her to do. I said, he said, but she did follow the instruction. I said, how she follow the instruction? He said, because before you can get up, you got to have vision of where you're going. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, don't you move until you get vision. <laughs> I wish you could just touch somebody real fast and say, stand still until you see where you're going. Without having vision, what we're trying to get to. Follow. But just tell somebody, be still. Be still. I said, tell your neighbor, be still. Be still. Because when God gives you vision, He also going to give you strength to move. Huh? Just look at your neighbor real fast and say, neighbor, God is about to give me strength huh, to move to my next level. Huh? Somebody say yes. 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 Listen. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get some place. I'm trying to get some place. All right. He tells her. He tells her to arise. Uh huh. And she opened her eyes. Okay. And she understood that without vision, there's no reason to move. All right. Okay. Y'all feel me? All right. So, so then after she opened her eyes, she sat up. She sat. Now she arrives. Amen. Uh -huh. But after she sets up, thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible says that Peter reaches out and he takes her by the hand, uh -huh. and he lifted her up. Lift. Y'all missed it. Uh huh. Lift I went to God again. I said, God, why in the world? When Peter told her to arise, that he had to give her his hand and lift her up. He said, because sometimes when you are in your dead state, once you come back to life, you may not have the strength that you need <laughs> to stand on your own. <laughs> All right. And that's why he has people in your life, huh? That when you can't do it by yourself, All right. you I'm can on. depend on their strength yeah. until you get your strength. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, you cannot depend.